And yet another video where my brother installs more lights to his uh, 2022 Honda Goldwing. Pretty soon he's going to be a neon billboard riding down the road with all these lights and sequential signals added to the bike. This episode, he's changing out the mirrors on his bike. He adds a set of moth mirrors with the blue tint, and they have the amber sequential turn signals in the lens and on the glass. It looked pretty sweet. Also, he swaps out the, the signals on the back side, on the front side of his mirrors by a company called Add-On. So that's another sequential turn signal light. Both of these are added in this video, and it gives him some more, uh, it lets him be seen more with more signals on there. Anyway, like always, give a like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Hopefully, it's a Harley-related video. Till next time. Bye. Well, let's see here. I'm back over in my garage again. I am slowly running out of parts to install on my, or at least majority of the parts that I pre-bought for my Go Wing. But uh, once again, my brother's not over here. Uh, he, you know, it's winter time. He, you know, too girly to go outside and touch the snowflake. Anyways, uh, let me go ahead and show you what I got here. So I have a set of moth mirrors, as well as the DRL add-on sequential turn signal lights that replace the ones that are up front. I do have the one with, uh, I did buy the moth mirrors that were single line, I believe. Or what did I buy? Let me, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I didn't do the chrome, I did the blue. Uh, I did do the blue, and I did the ones with the three lines. Uh, the three lines in it as you can see i will uh, show you more of those when i get it done or when i start you know going through the process the instructions that you get with the moth is actually really good uh, as you can see here let me go ahead and just uh so you guys can actually see them okay But the instructions are actually relatively straightforward. Um, I will go ahead and show you that in a second here. Okay. Uh, normally I would do, uh, by the way, if you go on, uh, if you get the instructions online, they're the same exact instructions, only in color. Uh, so I do recommend uh, go ahead and looking at that while you can. Uh, the reason I'm going to do both at one time is basically <laughs> you're, you're basically have to take the mirror off to put these in so might as well go ahead and do both at one time It'd be really silly if you plan on doing moth mirrors and you want to change the light It's really silly not to do them both at the same time because you're literally going to do exactly the same steps And then you can fish the lines together. Well, actually these lines will just plug and play these ones You'll have to fish down through anyways. Uh, it is relatively straightforward there I will show you this piece by piece when I get it when I go through it, but right here uh, If you can see it there is a five millimeter one right there this whole plastic under panel comes off on the mirror and then there'll be two two bolts and the mirror pot you can pop right off okay there'll be two bolts in there once you get this off there'll be two bolts in there you can pop those off uh disconnect the line and the mirror will literally just pop right off and then you could do the work inside if you want to where it's warmer unless you're like in florida already i hate you guys because <laughs> it's january up here and Actually, it's not too bad. It's just kind of cold. But uh, once you get that part done, you can actually do the work inside if you want to on a towel or whatever. And then, you know, basically, then you reverse the process. So let me go ahead and uh, get some of the work done, and I will show you what I got when I come up with. Uh, just a tidbit of advice. Um, when you after you get the you unscrew that right, 
it sits up in there just like this. You can see there's like a little thing down here. So you gotta kind of pull down a little bit because that little lip sits in right there. So it slides down and you gotta kind of pop it out afterwards. Uh, not too hard once you get the hang of it. And then I'll do the same, uh, oh, so just so I can show you. All right, I don't, uh, let's see if I can show you in there. Those are the two bolts right there. Boom and boom. That hold your mirror on, all right? And you can pop those out and take the mirror off. Uh, but I'll show you that after I get the other side done. Okay, just so you can see better. Those right there are the two bolts you wanna take out. It's actually an eight millimeter socket. Take those out and the whole mirror should just come right off. Uh, well, there should, uh, there'll be a power cord too you have to unplug, but I'll show you that in a minute. All right, so after you remove the two bolts, uh, just slowly and carefully, you know, you can feed out uh, all that line because there's a bunch of line in there right here, okay? Uh, the plug does look a little bit weird. Almost looks like there's two plugs in one and I, it's really kind of weird looking. But it's on the back side here. You actually push this down and pull out the plug from the mirror. Just like that, okay? Uh, just make sure you keep this kind of stuck out of the mirror because you're gonna need to put all that back in and feed out back in, back in. And then uh, as you can see, the mirror's off. So now you could uh, do all that kind of work inside the house, which I will probably plan on doing since it's cold out here. I'm gonna take off the other one and go inside the house and work on it. Okay, so f to remove the mirrors themselves from the casing, it seems like <laughs> the instructions seem a lot worse than they actually are. Basically, if you're looking at the left mirror like this, right, this is down here. Oop, it's kind of hard to do when I'm holding on to this stuff. Down here is the bottom of the mirror. This is the top of the mirror. So basically, just twist the mirror all the way up, right, grab onto the bottom and pull straight out. It will just pop. It'll let go of these right here, okay? When that happens, after that loosens, Try to, you know, uh, push the mirror back down a little bit so it's more flat, uh, just so that the whole mirror itself ain't tipped. And then pull it away and pull down, and the whole mirror will just let, let off and go. It was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I was nervous about that part. So now, what I got to do is I got to get all the casing off here, right? Uh, all this casing needs to come off. So my next part will be... Take to take this push pin out right here and to take off well I guess I'll be taking off these two pieces here all right I'll let you know when I get the casing all apart here actually let me go ahead and read the instructions and make sure <laughs> uh, let's see here remove the mirror yeah at the bottom of the mirror blah 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 remove two four millimeter type screws Yes, so right down here, you can see, I'll be removing these two bolt, these two bolts right here, right? Uh, the trim pin, and then that should that part should come up. That should remove the mirror panel, and then there should be three more screws on the inside. Okay, I'll show you that in this, in a minute. When you uh, when you remove these two screws, right, and that push pin, uh, it isn't. Feel like it wants to move what you do is you see that little lip right there just stick a little screwdriver a little tiny screwdriver right there just to pop it and the whole thing pop this whole piece pops right and then as you move it away try to get it over this piece here and there'll be like one little connection down in here that I just used a little screwdriver and it pops right out. And then it looks like this after you get the cover off, right? There's the cover on the one side, right? There's a, like a, uh, just a little, there, see right here, there's like a little, right there, there's a little piece, okay? That is what's holding it. So uh, basically that comes off and it looks like this. And then what you're gonna do, if you're gonna do the other part, is there's a bolt right, or a bolt there, bolt there well i'll get those off and see if that comes off first and then i'll show you okay 
So after you remove the two bolts, the one from there, uh, basically, the one from there and there, you're left with one underneath here, right there. You take that out and the light comes out. Ah, oh, so the light pops right out. Then you just feed in the new one, which I've done right here. I put the one screw back in. Now I'm going to put that back on. And then uh, go ahead and start working on the mirror too, and I'll show you that. So when you get this, uh, I put this all back on. I put these two bolts back in, so that part's on there. And then the moth mirror, you got a 10-inch jumper, okay? Make sure this piece, the male piece, gets put on the inside of the female pieces on the other side. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to have a problem because the male piece plugs into the back of the moth mirror. Right there. Okay? But basically, the mirror is going to sit just like this. But you're going to have to put the facial plate back on first. So, what I did was, because I'm doing two steps, they used to say use a zip tie. You could zip tie it to the wire that's coming out already. But because I replaced the other feed here, I just went through the same line. I didn't even use a zip tie at all. You want to make sure it's going to be long enough so you can kind of, you know, feed it up through the faceplate. So now, once I got that on, you put the faceplate, uh, you're going to put the faceplate back on. Making sure that you, you can get to the, get to this through the faceplate. Okay, so you're not actually going to put the faceplate on all the way. You're just getting it ready, okay? Because you don't want this sticking out. What you're going to do is you're going to get it kind of close. Get it close to where you want to put it. Plug this in and make sure... Plug this into this and make sure that is all up underneath here. And then put the faceplate back on. So I'll show you when I get this up and then replace those two screws. I'll show you when I get it back all together. It is a bit of a pain. Do it, you know, by yourself. But basically, you can see I got the white cord up in there, right? Uh, so basically, you put the, you connect the connector, put... While this thing's hold, while the mirror's hanging, you basically put in the two screws. Uh, make sure your wires are up underneath. You can see them in there, okay? And you just clip the mirror back on just like you would the original. And then uh, you can see I got the two wires right here. I'll clip this little thing off, and then basically the original plug will plug right into here. And then I need to figure out how to fish that new line all the way down to my Pathfinder box. But uh, I will worry about that in a few minutes when I get the other mirror set and done. And I'll show you when I get that part done. All right, so now that I got the mirrors all back together, they're just sitting over there. Well, obviously the lights themselves are plug and play. However, the moth mirrors are not. I'm gonna have to get a, run a line from here all the way down to my Pathfinder, which is underneath there. Next step they say is to remove this bolt here and you should be able to pry this away a little bit. Don't, I mean, they say it's going to be hard. It might feel like you're breaking it, but just pull. Just don't pull it too far out. You just want it just enough away that you could feed a line through. I'll show you when I, if I, if I get this without, you know, breaking it, hopefully. So they weren't kidding <laughs> with how much force you have to pull on this. But as you can see, I just kind of, I just got my fingernails in there and just pulled and I pulled hard. Uh, just don't come too far because you got to realize there's other stuff that you don't want to pop out. So basically I just popped out just enough to get the, to my, get my really long zip tie through and it does make a difference. So I will pull that through and then I will just slowly, but feed the line up this way, up into here. Okay, so I will go ahead and show you after I get this, the line on back on. I fed the line through here, through this little thing, and then up around, under, and then fed it down through. So now, uh, and I, I just, uh, I just pushed the panel back in, put the bolt back in, and now I'm gonna uh, have the wife come out here and hold the mirror. I'm gonna plug, plug the stuff in and bolt it back in and put the pieces back on. You just reverse the steps originally. So uh, the next time I show you anything will be, well, obviously I have to put the mirrors back on and then I need to wire it into my pathfinder. That's just wiring. I do have a nice little printout of what wires or what colors are what. 
Um, this should help you out a little bit. Uh, if they're not quite up to date, uh, the color coatings of some of the brands of colors uh, for the lights. Pretty straightforward though. I will, if you have any questions on these, on these, you can ask and I will see what I can do for you. Okay. Uh, so the next thing I will do is put all those mirrors back together and then I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll be back and I'll show you what it looks like when it's on. So now you can see the finished product. This is the, the moth mirror with uh, the signal turned on. Looks pretty cool, right? That happens on both sides. Okay. And then you can see the new the new uh, DRL light when you put the signal on. Looks really cool. All right.